Perfect. Welcome back to the garage. Uh, we are pulling apart this green EK1. So this is kind of like an update, I guess. What we have is a green EK1 had a B16 B swap in 2015, 2016. Um, rear disc conversion, one inch master, had a whole lot of stuff done. It is now a facelift front end for this EK and we're parting it out, we're pulling it apart. And the main reason for that is because it's all going into this while not all of it but some of it so we have a ek that has just been fully resprayed we're talking like all up in the guards all throughout all in the bay she's looking good full fresh start for this one we got a dc2 type r subframe in there which makes life a little bit easier as well itr brakes all the way around five stud interior is we're going to be careful with the doors because there is no rubber on the doors give me that and the major thing is look at this stuff like everything has just been resprayed so it's just going to be fantastic it's going to be beautiful we're going to give this stuff a good clean a good new home we're gonna pull all this stuff out put it to the side we need to pull this dash out check the loom see what loom it's got if it is just an ek1 loom the whole thing needs to come out and i need to take the ek4 loom out of that ek1 put it in this so this car is going full ek9 all aftermarket there's no real mid ground for anything else so we're going full black trim um dc5 type r steering wheel we've got a mugen ek9 type r dash which is some some big dollars there. We're doing the double din conversion with the double din aircon unit as well. So the heater, the aircon, all of that's been changed to Type R stuff. Type R red carpet, the Type R cards, all of the rear plastics are going back in. Type R, I believe, I think it might be DC2 Type R rear seats are going in this. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what's going in. I got them in the other shed, so I have to go have a look. Um, exhaust shifter the engine um which we took out of this and that kind of looks a little something like this it is off at the machinist i believe it's done but i didn't get there before christmas so we're gonna have to go pick that up and that is a b16b so it's a genuine type r ek9 type r motor um we're doing rods oh not rods sorry we're doing bearings bearings rings um, a full gasket set, just a full refresh, hones, skimming the head, skimming the block, cleaning everything, making sure it's all top notch. We've got a few aftermarket goodies, fuel rail, injectors, all that kind of stuff going in as well. It's on a Honda, which is good. Um, heck, we might even do a wire tuck on that just to clean up all of this kind of stuff here. One inch brake master, all of that, all the basics, but all the basics, like everything is getting done for this one. And yeah. So what we are doing today is, we've got the engine out, we've got the trans out. Got to strip this bad boy. I don't have the space to store it. I don't have the time to kind of turn it into another project car because I already got one over there. Um, yeah, so let's get into that. We need to pull off this disc conversion for someone else. Coilovers need to go, seats need to go, door cards, the dash needs to come off. Uh, so I can get access to the EK4 loom steering wheel. We've got the dash cluster. The whole front end needs to come off because that is sold. This is a good condition. Freshly resprayed, I might add. Um, facelift front, well, front end. The whole front end is facelift. What else do we need? We need to get the brake booster. I need to pillage all of these clips, bolts, nuts, all of that. Because, well, they don't just come from nowhere. You get to get them from somewhere. And all that little stuff does help. We need to collect everything like this. Washer bottle might be cleaner than that one. And in that case, we'll be using this. Like everything that is better is going in that essentially. Um, this car actually has full hard race. That one is actually black uh, just because, well, it is a hard race arm as you can see there. But uh, yeah, a little bit, a little bit of shimmel on there. I'll just, I'll just like that on the old pants, I guess. Um, hard race. Lower arms, camber arms, front and rear that's got the 
toe arms, camera arms, all of that. So that needs to come off so I can sell it. Get rid of this wing, maybe the whole hatch, tail lights, bumper, pretty much everything that we can get some coin back from. We're just gonna pull it out. This is the fun bit, guys. This is the bit that I actually really like, is just pulling crap apart, chucking it, in, chucking it in boxes, and yeah, I love it. It's good, it's the good stuff. So most of this, probably just a time lapse, and let's go. Progressing pretty good. Plastics, what I found to be a genuine EK9 wing and base plate. Got tail lights out, another few bits and pieces. The Jay's Racing exhaust, rear disc conversion. That's old, that's old. I think that is EK9 type R. Plastics in the back because they are black, unfortunately cut. Um, might actually recut that, square them up, and put some plastic or rubber trim to tidy it up. Some hard race bits and pieces there too. I mean, there's not really a whole lot in the car to begin with. But, hey, moving forward, what else we got? We got some seats, take those out. Some RCA cables, we'll take those out. We'll take the bolts for all the seat belts. Put the seat belts in bags, someone might need those in the future. Um, all this trim, I don't think this has the same kind of clips that I want. But we'll go through and get all of our little plastic clips leave the plastics in there but we'll take the plastic clips we'll take these um these are good the um i don't know what you call those actually hydraulic arms actuator arms hatch stays whatever you want to call them we'll take these out too they seem to be good i've gone and taken just the 10 mil bolts um out of all of these uh, fuel tank can stay uh we're gonna chuck the rear discs in so I've got some rear discs from that EJ8 there, um, just to keep it rolling. These are these look like a oh yeah they are the back speeding rods, uh, rear coilovers I think, or they're just like a generic eBay item, and they are death on your knuckles if you've ever slipped and punched one of these, mate. It takes literal chunks out of your hand. Whereas things like like the tens or the BC Racing or you know like good branded coilovers have rounded edges on them which is bloody fantastic so when you punch it it doesn't hurt as much um, anyway that's most of that the handbrake cables and everything are out we're gonna move forward uh, we might get these skirts off we definitely will be taking the front brakes and hubs uh, coilovers uh, I think that's in front coilovers we'll take those and sell those it's got the lower control arms from hard race uh, da -da. It's not a heck of a lot left. I need to get this whole door off. This is sold, this door. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll take both mirrors off, I'll take both door cards off. Uh, we'll get rubbers off both doors simply because that EK over there does not have the rubbers and I don't want to be stuck. So we'll do that, we'll take those out. Um, yeah, that's that door sold. We'll take that door off as well and we'll see if someone wants and needs that. I can just put it around the back. If not, we'll take out the seats, plastic trim, all the clips, more plastics. Uh, steering wheel. We'll take out these screws for the plastic cover there. Um, these screws here, I always, I don't know about you guys, but I always find that I lose them or I use them some, somewhere else. Then uh, quite a specific screw, so we'll grab those. Uh, we'll grab the pedal box, the clutch brake and accelerator. We'll grab the resting pedal as well there's an ashtray might just take this whole dash mm. no 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 yeah 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 maybe yeah we'll take the whole dash out because i want to take the loom out it's an ek4 loom behind the dash as well so yeah i'll grab that dash out grab that loom obviously i'm gonna get all these gauges which actually still have the plastic protection on them it's pretty nice no they're not really in there though no. jeez come on boys put your life out not acceptable most of this is pretty unacceptable. A whole lot of loose stuff. But anyway, we'll get that out. Shifter, it's got a hard race bush uh, front and rear for the shifter bushes on the actual shift arm. So we'll grab those, flick those off. And probably covers it for interior wise. 
kind of just restocking all my nuts and bolts really and then from there these wheels probably just put down the back use for rollers on something else if ever I need them we got our loom here I've sucked all the brake fluid out of the brakes or the calipers and everything so I need to sell those as soon as possible just so they're not sitting around and they get dry uh, the old seals it's not a good idea to have them sitting on a shelf for a very long period of time because the rubber seals o-rings start to get brittle and dry and then they break you sell them to someone and then they complain that they're leaking and they never leak before and right 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 so yeah we'll flip those off sell those as soon as possible get the whole front end off headlights bumper bump support and front quarters those are sold as well and take this plastic cowl off here and all the clips associated with it because this doesn't have it and what I am going to try and do, or what I am going to do, is I'm going to take this rubber off, sand it, um, and prep it with uh, some proper plastic paint prep. And I'm going to respray it gloss black 2K with some clear. Damn, what the hell happened there? Bent. Um, oh, it's hopefully got some more that aren't bent. Just chilling in there. There's little bits and pieces floating around in the car, so we'll just pick what is the best option for us. Oh, there's a cow there. So I'll paint two, sell one. Beautiful. Um, yeah, that's uh, that's probably going to cover everything, really. Let's get into it. Let's pull it apart and yeah, try and get get someone to pick the shell up for recycling. boys end of the video so whole car is party out EK is pretty much scrap that's where it's going as well scrapyard and now we just have a huge absolute massive pile of parts to fit into this car so this is what we've got